speaking of new twists, here's the other big development that the CNBC TV18 team broke this morning. S. Ramudurai, Doyne of the Indian IT industry under whose leadership TCS edged past Infosys to reach the number one position, uh, has quit the, ta the government, uh, the National Skills Development Agency, as well as the National Skills Development Council. Uh, now, it is a strange turn of events, given the fact that it comes in the context of what we are seeing play out as far as the Tata Group is concerned. But there is no confirmation that we have been able to get on whether his exit from the NSDA and the NSDC is linked in any form or fashion to the uh, current developments at the Tata Group. But for more on, uh, on this story, we're now joined by the president of NASCOM, R. Chandrasekhar. Mr. Chandrasekhar, appreciate you joining us. Again, as I've been caveating from uh, the morning when our colleague Ronajoy broke this story, uh, we're in no way suggesting that uh, Mr. Ramadurai exit from the NSD and the NSDC is necessarily linked to what is going on with the bitter boardroom battle at the Tatars, but it is curious, the timing, wouldn't you say, sir? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not uh, sure that these are uh, necessarily linked uh, because uh, we had heard that this uh, uh, had uh, uh, sort of happened uh, while before uh, the most recent development. Uh, so uh, it's difficult to say that these are uh, actually actually linked. Uh, Mr. Ramdurai has uh, led the NSDC and uh, has played a major role in the uh, skill development program over the last few years. Uh, but uh, I think this uh, probably uh, preceded the most recent events. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, sir, because we are given to understand, uh, and this is source-based information, that Mr. Ramudurai uh, uh, quit uh, as early or as far back as the beginning of October. Cyrus Mystery exited around the 24th uh, of, uh, of October. Uh, so once again, uh, you know, and Mr. Tata in his letter today saying that this was a very thought-through, considered decision and so on and so forth. Again, we're not suggesting that they're any way linked, but in the context, Given the fact that the Skill India mission is one of the, the critical missions for this government, does it not seem odd that Mr. Ramadurai, who was appointed by the UPA but then continued and appointed as the chairman of the NSDA by the NDA, uh, would leave at this juncture? Uh, well, you know, it's really uh, uh, difficult to comment on that. But <clears throat> what we understand is that there has been uh, some effort underway and some thought underway in the government on how to revamp the uh, whole skilling program, and uh, that would include uh, a sort of uh, rejigging of the various structures that have been put in place. So this could be seen in the uh, larger context of uh, those changes. So uh, I think that is, uh, uh, you know, that is the way I would look at it. Okay, that's a valid point that you make, that perhaps there was a change of uh, strategy uh, that the government wanted to pursue when it comes to the Skills India mission, and maybe uh, the exit of Mr. Ramadurai could be linked to some of the changes that the government is contemplating with the Skills mission. But uh, as we've been pointing out here on CNBC TV 18, we are in no way uh, necessarily trying to link Mr. Ramadurai's exit from the NSD and the NSDC to the developments at the Tata Group. But as we've been pointing out, the timing does seem curious. Mr. Chandrasekhar, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us with your quick take there.